no gavel this evening. Uh, call to order the select board meeting for July 8, 2010. First order of business, salute to the American flag. Mm -hmm. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Next order, approval of the agenda. I make a motion we approve the agenda as written. I will second. All in favor? Aye. Approval of the minutes of the last meeting. I make a motion we approve the minutes of the last meeting I as written. I will second. All in favor? Signing of the warrants. There are two in here. Oh, you got both of them. There's two to sign in? No, you got both of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, you got to sign this one. on the agenda is a policy regarding personnel files. I make a motion that we accept the policy. Um, second, shall we read it? Sure. I think you've got it in front of you. I read the second. Did you skip over the first? Uh, he made the motion. I didn't um, hear a motion on the resignation. Oh, I skipped over the first item. I'm so sorry. It's okay. blending over the top. First item of business actually is the resignation of the Oh, old business. I'm sorry, everyone. I will get my druthers about me. Among, under old business, we have letters of thanks sent to Andrew Cogliandro, and they are right here. Do you want to read them or do you want sure. me to? Dear Andrew, thank you for your countless hours you have spent serving the town of Acton as a camera person during select board meetings. A small town like ours can only succeed with the help of volunteers, and it is rare to find one so young and so dedicated. We also appreciate your willingness to volunteer your time representing the town at the PTG annual volleyball tournament. You have a delightful energy and kind spirit that is always welcome. We hope your future endeavors are successful and that you continue to share your talents with whatever community is fortunate enough to have you as a member. And it's signed by Larissa and myself. Excellent. So Lorraine, please mail that off. And then we also have a letter of thanks um, to the Stantons. Uh, dear Scott and Mary, thank you for your generous donation of a sign for the Town Hall. It has been a great asset in sharing information and happenings with people efficiently and in a timely manner. Local businesses are an important and vital part of, our, of any community, and DASCO Science has gone above and beyond in service to the town. Thank you. Right, so Lorraine, please mail this one off as well. Under new business, we have resignation of our treasurer and the acceptance of resumes. So we'll need a motion to accept the resignation. I make a motion we accept the resignation of the treasurer. I will second with regret. All in favor. Um, and that being said, we are accepting resumes. The Town of Acton job opportunity. The Town of Acton is currently accepting resumes for the position of treasurer CFO. The ideal candidate will have, a, will have strong accounting skills, knowledge of cash management, and experience in payroll and accounts payable. In addition, the candidate will have the ability to multitask, be self-motivated, work well in a fast-paced environment, and be extremely organized. Prior experience in municipal accounting and TRIO software is preferred. The position will be 20 to 25 hours per week. Qualified candidates will be required to complete pre-screening tests in a variety of accounting and Microsoft applications. Interested candidates must submit a cover letter, resume, and three letters of recommendation pertaining to the desired qualifications listed above. Candidates who submit incomplete packets will be disqualified. Deadline for submitting applications is 12 noon on Monday, July 19th. Applications can be mailed to the Town of Acton, P.O. Box 510, Acton, Maine, 04001, or emailed to townclerk at actonmaine.org. The Town of Acton is an equal opportunity employer and it reserves the right to reject any and all applications. 
Now, going back to a personnel file policy. Okay. Um, personnel files shall be kept locked at all times. Keys shall be held by the treasurer and by the deputy treasurer. Access to the file shall be restricted to the treasurer or deputy treasurer for the following reasons. Maintaining current tax forms, maintaining current direct deposit information, inclusion of professional certification certificates, inclusion of year-end personnel reviews. The select board may access personnel files only after entering into executive session from a posted public meeting and deciding as a board to do so. The select board shall identify among themselves the staff member or members whose files are being as, uh, accessed and shall uh, identify the reasons for doing so. The treasurer or deputy treasurer shall retrieve the requested information from the file and present it to the board. Should the board decide to include record of a staff member's actions in a personnel file, it shall be added after the board has de decided to do so in an executive session called from a posted public meeting. Okay, so you wanna make a motion again? I make a motion, we accept it as written. I will second that, all in favor. Okay. Thank you. And we are signed. Next order is a announcement of our holiday schedule for the town hall only for the fiscal year 10-11. Uh, town hall, Saturday, July 3rd, we were closed. Saturday, September 4th, we're closed. Thursday, November 25th. Friday, November 26th. Saturday, November 27th, we'll be closed. Friday, December 24th and Saturday, December 25th, we're closed. Friday, December 31st. Closed at noon, Saturday, January 1st, closed. Memorial Day is always observed on a Monday and we are closed. Our personal po personnel policy states that we have six paid holidays. I would suggest that we pay the sixth holiday by paying for the Friday following Thanksgiving. The Saturday closings are for three hour days and there are five of them. This equals a total of 15 hours. The Thursday holiday represents four hours and the early closing of December 31st represents four hours. This totals 23 hours of holiday time. Holiday schedule? Yeah. Yes. But I don't think we need to do so by vote, do we? Huh? Do you need us to vote on that or can we simply? No, as long as that's what you announced, okay. what you scheduled. Okay. Yep. So that will be posted on the website soon so that people can plan ahead for registration of vehicles, et cetera. Just give me a call, um, Next up, we have the Board of Selectmen's um, workshop hours. We will be meeting from here on out on Tuesdays from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock in the afternoon as opposed to Friday mornings. So that will be our posted workshop hours. Do you also want to post 5 to 7 on Thursdays? Yes. And also posted hours will be 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock on Thursdays. Well, our, our agenda will be done on Tuesdays and posted on uh, Tuesdays for the Thursday night meeting. Two to four. Yes. So, and there is actually, if you go onto the website now, on the left-hand, far left-hand column, the second item there is BOS agendas. If you click there, you will have a list of the posted agendas for the meeting um, with the date. So, right now, for instance, July 8th's agenda is posted on the website, and that will continue to be the case. Um, and they will also be paper copies posted in the town hall. I need the holiday schedule. They gave me the wrong thing. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Number five, meetings with departments, boards, and committees. Do you want to talk about that? Or do you want to... Yeah. Um, what we'd like to do is offer at this time in our meeting uh, any boards or committees that would like to uh, address us to come up and do it at that time. Um, so it, every Thursday we'll have this time period that anybody that has anything that they'd like to report, they can come in and do it at that time. So no one will be scheduled. So if you are a board that does not like to come up and speak to the select board, you will not be scheduled and required to do so. But in an effort to have op more open communication with the boards and committees, there will always be an agenda item to accommodate them should they wish to, to make contact with the board. Ah, dear flies. Yeah, I know. Um, signing of the quit claim deed. Um, the inhabitants of the municipality of Acton, a body corporate and politic located at 35 H Road in Acton, Maine, County of York, and State of Maine, for consideration paid, release to Randy M. and Don M. Jacks, 270 East Hartford Ave, Uxbridge, Mass, 01569. 
a certain lot or parcel in the town of Acton, County of York and State of Maine, depicted on the town of Acton property maps as map 137, lot 010, said parcel being located on Hawk Road in Acton, Maine. The property was tax acquired by the town of Acton in December 2009 by virtue of the expired lien to owner unknown recorded in book 15467, page 0734 in the York County Registry of Deeds in Alfred, Maine. The said inhabitants of the municipality of Acton have caused this instrument to be signed in its corporate name by Anthony Cogliandro, Larissa Crockett, and Theodore Kryzak. Its Board of Selectmen duly authorized this 8th day of July, 2010. Make a motion we sign the quick claim deed. I will second that. All in favor? Are you going to be our witness? No, I, I'm going to notarize, so if you want to get someone to come up and just... Mary, would you witness? <coughs> Do we need two witnesses? Or can one person do both? No, I think one person can sign for both. Please sign there and there. No, no next to our signatures to that you saw a sign. Nope. nope. Thank you very it. much. Thank you. Next is the signing of the town meeting warrant. Um, a citizen of the town of Acton, York. SS greetings. In the name of the state of Maine, you are hereby requested to notify and warn the inhabitants of said town of Acton qualified to vote in town affairs to gather at the Acton Town Hall on Tuesday, August 17th to act on the following articles. Article 1, to choose a moderator for said meeting. Article 2, to elect one selectman, assessor, and overseer of the poor to complete the term of office that has been vacated until June 31st, 2011. Make a motion to sign. I make a motion that we adjust this to June 30th. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So second, as amended. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, Ray. The next is that we will be putting out to bid again map 143, lot 020. It's a foreclosed property. Um, it was part of the list of properties that we just did put out to bid, and we have somebody who wrote in asking if it was still opened, and if it was, they'd like to bid. So we're going to open it up to bid again. Um, bids are due by when? Have we decided that? No. Let's do that now. How long, so if we're going to put it in this, let's put it in the put Smart Shopper for shopper. Tuesday. And do we have policy pertaining to how many weeks it needs to be in? No, but uh, if we put it in, and let's make it, I haven't got a calendar in here with me. So we want to make it two weeks that it's in, or? We'll make it the uh, Thursday, two weeks after we send it in. Okay, so that would bring us to, today is the 8th, so 13th it will go in, and then the 20th, so you want to have it do the 22nd? 22nd, okay. So do we need a motion to put that back out to bid? Yeah, okay. I make a motion we put that back out to bid. Okay, second, all in favor? Aye. Okay, so all interested parties, um, bids will be due by 4 o'clock on Thursday, um, July, what did I say it was, 22nd? 22nd. It is, I believe, on 13th Street. I think it's that one. I know, I know. Um, it's, it's just a uh, paved parking spot, but there's someone interested in it, so. We are hoping to get it off the... Um, off the tax, you yeah, know. put it oh, back, back on, on the, the tax, tax rolls. Roll. Yes, we'd like to, to get it off the list of um, non tax paying properties. Um, at this point, Article 9 is any other business? If there's anything anyone would like to discuss, um, I have some first. Um, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, carry over Jennifer Rue's leave. Um, she's not had a vacation in four, year, uh, four years now, and uh, she has four weeks and earns two weeks. So I'd like to make a motion that we carry over two weeks into this year. I will second that motion wholeheartedly. All in favor? Aye. Um, the other thing I have is uh, we'd like to create a policy committee um, of hopefully five members of volunteers to come in and uh, go through all the policies and make suggestions. It'll be an advisory committee to make suggestions to us uh, so that we can bring a policy book up to date. I know it has been started, uh, but there is a lot more that could be done, and um, you know it's it's a living breathing document where changes have to be all the time so uh by having the people in the town have some say in in the policies for the board of selectmen i think is a lot more important than having us come in and rewrite policies and 
somebody else comes in and policies are rewritten again. So I think if we form a policy committee. So we'll be looking for volunteers for that. You can let uh, Jennifer uh, Rue know if you're interested in uh, joining that committee. And then we'll appoint some people from there. All right, any other business? Mr. Moore. Chairman Moore, uh, I understand that Tom Cash may have spoken to you about this, that uh, there was a discussion from the previous selectmen that we would discuss the uh, upcoming zoning ordinances uh, every two weeks or something like that, mm -hmm. so the public would go over them. Now, we're proposing to do that on the 22nd of this month and because we would like to bring in a professional from southern Maine region which naturally costs a lot of money would like to be first on the agenda is that acceptable yes yes absolutely so that the person wouldn't be waiting around right okay sounds good thank you um, I do have one more thing um, August meetings are going to be on the 12th and the 26th. Uh, I have a vacation plan for the first week before I came on, and Lewis also has uh, is going to be taking some time off. So we're only going to have two selectmen meetings in August. Any other business? Okay. Then underneath announcements, we um, again the selectmen have been invited to attend the Great East Lake Improvement Association annual meeting at 10 a.m. at Weeks Park. Ted and Lorraine will be attending that meeting, while I will have the pleasure of attending the Wilson Lake Association meeting here at the Town Hall. Um, also coming up, we have the Mousen Lake Association will be meeting at 9 a.m. on July 24th at the Acton Fairgrounds. Um, so that's another Lake Association coming up, and Loon Pond is that same day at 8 a.m. here at the Town Hall, I believe. Um, so lots of lakes meeting in associations. Um, the Owls will be two things for the Owls. They are our older, wiser, liberated seniors. Everyone is welcome to attend, whether you are a senior or planning on becoming one in some future date. But um, mostly people 55 and older tend to come, and we certainly encourage you to do so. This coming Wednesday, it is coffee and conversation and donuts. Um, and then not this coming Saturday the 10th, but the following Saturday the 17th, the Owls will be holding a bottle and can drive at the Acton Transfer Station. They are working on raising money to take a bus trip with the seniors um, and helping to defray the cost of that a little bit. So please keep an eye out for them. And that's all I have for announcements. Do you have any other announcements? Okay, I'll accept the motion to adjourn. I make the motion, we adjourn. I will second. Aye. All in favor? Meeting adjourned. Thank you.